I've been kind of looking around and thinking about uh, my next project and uh, I have a uh, camping trip this weekend so I always like to take something with me and uh, work on it while I'm sitting out in the woods and uh, so I, I I ordered a bunch of uh, back issues of Wood Carving Illustrated magazines. I was going through some of those, and I came across two things that really kind of caught my eye. And one uh, was this one, which is this uh, twisted spiral ornament. Here's a good picture of it. And uh, the article is by Carol Kent. And what's interesting about this is I have I had done some spirals before. I did a couple of spiral Santas and things, but I really like this one because it uses this unique idea of taking a block and working off the corners. And what you do is you uh, you have a, a, a line, a square line here. This is going to be uh, this could be a face, a Santa face, or it could be uh, just a ball or whatever you want to put up there. And then the rest is the spiral. And the way this works is you come down on this one. This is about a one by one block. So you come down a half an inch on each corner. Okay, and then you connect from zero to the first point and then from the first to the second and you just follow that around and then in terms of carving it you just begin right here taking a chip out so you take a chip out of here and you, a chip out of here okay and then you connect these and you do this all the way and you just keep going deeper and deeper eventually you begin rounding off these corners a little bit and you will you'll end up with one here's one I finished and if you continue to carve um, you will get, you'll come through, you'll go through and it'll actually be kind of see-through in there. Uh, it's an interesting project, it's a little tricky uh, because this is actually pretty weak, it's all short grain going up and down here, I could just snap this right off if I really, without a lot of effort. So I thought I'd incorporate that into what I wanted to do, but then uh, I also thought, oh, I, I kind of wanted to do a walking stick and I came across one in this issue that was really interesting, not this one. Where is it? There we go. This guy, and uh, of course I had done a wizard before, so this fantasy wizard staff kind of caught my eye. And uh, here's the here's the pattern. Let's see if you get a good view of that. Okay. And uh, so what I decided to do was put this on the top of my uh, staff, and then somehow incorporate. Uh, farther down the spiraling idea although since it's a walking staff the the spiraling is going to be on a part of the walking stick that uh, will will you know take some load and I'm carving it out of aspen simply because I had a piece uh, that was long enough and, more, and fat enough and I, I didn't want to just carve it out of a you know a branch or something because I don't have one uh, so but I don't want to use this pierced uh, approach because it would be too weak if it's on the staff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this method, but I'm going to skip every other one of these. So and I'm making them a little wider. So every one, every other one of these spirals will be a flat. And if uh, if you can see on here, um, but in this area right here where the spirals are, there's kind of a texturing in there. Um, and I don't know what tool I'm going to use that, but I thought in the flat sections I would do some kind of texture on it. So that's the next pro project. It's an aspen carving uh, walking stick that I'm going to carve. Um, and I'm using an interesting tool to do this. I'll show you that next video.